Welcome back to another paint pouring tips and tricks video. I'm Brad and today I'm going to share with you how I prep my canvases before I pour on them. It's not a very complicated process but I thought I'd walk you through it. You might pick up a couple handy little tips. So first what kind of canvases do I pour on? Generally two types. I pour on uh, like the, the rather inexpensive ones, the three-quarter inch thick ones that are you generally find in canvas packs, um, like the value canvas packs. This is an 11 by 14 canvas. And these are generally called a back stapled canvas. Uh, they, you pull the canvas over the stretcher bars and staple them. Um, that's usually a, a cheaper way to make a canvas. The other type of canvas I pour on is a, a gallery wrapped. This is a much more professional um, high-end canvas. This is a 12 by 16. This one I've already got prepped uh, and it's ready to go. This one is called a gallery wrap because the back is nicely, uh, the canvas is tucked in to the stretcher bars and there's a spline back there. I kind of have it all covered up with tape, but um, it's a not much nicer canvas. Um, these are generally uh, what you'd want to see when you're selling your your canvases or your paintings. Uh, it's a it's a much nicer, better looking finish. It's got the deeper one and a half inch uh, profile. These are great canvases. This one happens to be a Blick um, gallery wrap, but um, there's uh, a gallery wrap. I can't think of the name. Michael sells them. They're very popular. So that's uh, a gallery wrap. I'll talk about the push pins in a second. Let me set that aside. So the first step I always do now uh, when I prep my canvases is to tape off the back and uh, it just gives you a much cleaner look. I'll show you an example. Here's, of, here's a painting that I did not tape off the back and you see the paint dribbles all over the back of the canvas and it actually, um, if you can see that this, it might be hard to see, once it dries, it kind of buckles the back of the canvas up. It's not a very attractive look. Um, so I now tape all of my canvases uh, off, take up off the back so, so you can avoid this look. And here's one that I have taped off and I pulled the tape. You still get a little bleed under perhaps on some of the uh, canvas, uh, at least with the tape I use and sh we'll show you how to use. Um, you could use a better quality tape such as the frog tape, you'll eliminate some of this. Probably not all of it, but you will eliminate some of it. So this is, uh, I think, a much cleaner look, even with a little bit of uh, bleed under. This could easily be painted over and you'd get a, a much cleaner, nicer look. So let's, let me walk you through kind of the, the materials I use uh, and I'll show you how I uh, prep this canvas. So I use a, generally use a one and a quarter inch uh, roll of tape. This happens to be blue uh, Scott or th blue 3M painter's tape. Um, again, you could use the frog tape. That's a much more expensive type of tape, but it will give you a cleaner uh, tape edge. Um, I generally use just this or even a regular two inch white masking tape like I showed you on the back of the gallery wrap canvas. So that's step number one is to tape the back. Next, I like to put in uh, some kind of a foot or some kind of feet to keep the canvas elevated off the surface. And I like to use um, like a cup hook like this. Uh, these are one inch cup hooks. And I got these just at Home Depot. These are very inexpensive. They're really handy. Um, they're easy to install and they have a threaded point which really comes in useful when you're trying to level your canvas. So I'll use a one inch. Uh, here is a bigger one. This is an inch and a half. Also open up also from Home Depot. This is a, a larger one. I'll use this more often on larger paintings. It's just a little easier to handle and grab these big cup hooks. I've also used the uh, giant push pins like I had in the back of my gallery wrap canvas. I just put these in here. Um, these are nice because it gives you a great big handle to grab when you're uh, tilting your canvas. So you can kind of hold uh, the big push pins when you're tilting and that makes it so much easier um, 
to handle your canvas. And I just did a video on tilting, how I tilt my canvases. If you want to check that out, I'll put a link up in the top here. You can go watch that if you haven't seen it yet. Um, but I, I really need something in the bottom of my canvas to keep it elevated, not only for grabbing it to tilt it, but also I'm always putting my canvas down and, and having something attached to the canvas makes it so much more convenient than having like little cups or something that I'm resting the painting on. Uh, if you have that, um, you always have to set it back in a certain position. Sometimes the cups will stick to the bottom of the canvas. So it can work um, and a lot of painters do that. I just prefer to have something attached to the bottom of my canvas. Uh, lately, uh, I've used, I've found a new type of cup hook, which I really love. This is an inch and a quarter cup hook, but what I like about this is it has a rubberized coating on it, and it's so much nicer to grab. It's not so sharp as the metal cup hooks, uh, like this, like these right here. Um, these have like kind of a sharp point on them. Uh, this is so much easier to grab, especially when you're you have uh, paint gloves full of paint. Um, this is a really nice cup hook. So I'll put, I got these on Amazon. I'll put the link below if you want to go check them out. Um, but any of these cup hooks will work fine. The little ones, the inch and a quarter, or even the big ones. Um, these work great too. Or if you want to try the push pins, um, these work wonderful too. And I use these sometimes. The great th advantage about the cup hooks, I think, is the threaded tip. And that means you can uh, twist the cup hook in or out and use that to level your canvas. And I'll demonstrate that in a second after when I put in the cup hooks. So uh, let's get started with um, prepping this canvas. So I'm going to take my tape and I'm going to first of all tape off the back. So I like to just start on one side and I like to use a knife like a, a little retractable razor knife. You could also use a scissors for that. That's totally fine as well um, and just cut your tape and then I will turn my canvas. I'm just so used to using the knife. So I will rotate the canvas, put some more tape on and then use the knife to slice it. Go to the next side. Now if you're using a knife, make sure you don't slice through your canvas. We don't want to do that. We just want to be, oops, very careful and just slice through the tape. And the final side. There we go. So we've got the canvas all taped off. And that's, you know, very quick. It, you'll get faster as you do more of them. I can do it pretty quick now. And now we have to install our uh, cup hooks or our push pins. Now to do that, you could just try to jam these in here and start twisting. Uh, I like to use an awl. Um, I get this, I got this on Amazon and uh, it's actually a leather working awl. This works great for putting in uh, pilot holes in our pine stretcher bars and pine is very soft wood so the awl will kind of go in there pretty easily. So just start a hole and go on the other side and start a hole. I usually do one side first. Then I will grab my cup hook and then just start twisting it in. And it twists in the pine pretty easily. And you don't have to twist it in all the way down to the, to the very um, end here. You could leave it up some. Uh, you just kind of have to count how many twists just so you kind of even out so they're all kind of in the same uh, position. And then I'll put another one in. There we go. And then I'll turn the canvas and then uh, put two more holes in. Just like that. 
Now, if it's kind of hard to grab these and twist them, it can, I mean, it can be kind of hard on the hands. Uh, you could use a tool like this. This is a, a needle nose vice grips. And the great thing about this is you can grab your cup hook and then lock it tight. And now you kind of have a bigger, larger handle to, to hold, to twist in your cup hooks. So this works really well too. So you can just grab that and turn it and then undo the little lever. And there you go. You got another hook in and last one I'll put in here. It takes only a couple seconds. Now, the only problem I found with the big push pins, you can also use the awl to, to put a little pilot hole in your canvas, but these you really have to push in there. Uh, sometimes it can be a little hard to, to jam that all the way in. Um, you might have to use a little hammer to tap it in. Um, so they're great, but I just find the cup hooks a little more convenient for me anyway. So there we have it. We have our tape on the back. We've got our cup hooks in the stretcher bar. Now the final step is to turn it over and make sure we have a level canvas. And right now this is already rocking a little bit. And if your canvas is rocking, it could be the canvas is slightly warped. And normally I check that before I put the cup hooks in. And if it is slightly warped on these cheaper canvases, you can kind of rack the corners a little bit and just kind of twist it. And that will sometimes, you know, straighten it out a little bit. This one is still rocking just a little and that's fine. If that's doing that, then we can uh, unscrew our cup hooks a little bit on the corners that are rocking. And now we've got a solid canvas and it's nice and solid on our surface. It's not rocking. Let's check the level. So here's our level. It's pretty level. It could go a little bit this way. And let's see about this side. That looks great on that side. That's pretty good. It's actually could be up a hair. So we can adjust now. If we want, we can undo this one. We can twist this one in. And we got it rocking a little bit again. Let's twist this one in. That's pretty good. That's better, I think. That's pretty good there. It doesn't have to be absolutely, precisely, perfectly level. Um, the larger your paintings get, though, you probably want to get those pretty level. So it's a little more critical the larger you're working. For me, I'd say this is pretty good. I would go with this. So that's level enough. So anyway, that's kind of how I uh, prep my canvases. Um, I just use some blue painter's tape, uh, stick it on the back, uh, use my awl to make little pilot holes in the pine stretcher frame, install my cup hooks. Sometimes I'll use the vice grips if I need to. Um, and that's pretty much it. Then once I've done painting my, uh, pouring my painting, it's so easy to grab this, lift it. You can move it somewhere to, to let it dry. And once it's totally dry, then I will remove the cup hooks and the tape. Well, that's my process. It's pretty straightforward. Hopefully it helps you out in prepping your canvases. I will see you next time on another tips and tricks video. Uh, take care and happy pouring. Bye-bye.